Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is subsets 2. Given an integer array nums that may contain duplicates, return all possible subsets, also known as the power set. The solution set must not contain duplicate subsets, so all these lists need to be unique. Uh, return the solution in any order. All right, so uh, we can see our constraint here. The length is only going to be 10 at the maximum, so probably our solution is going to be something exponential. Uh, we can see also that there's definitely a recursive solution, but we're going to try to do this iteratively. Uh, let's look at this example right here. Uh, say that we had one, two, two. We can see that there's two twos and one, one. Uh, what we'll do is start with an empty list like this. And we can certainly do this recursively, but uh, just easier to do this iteratively. What we'll do is build up every single one of these numbers, adding uh, the number here to the number uh, to each one of these lists inside. So at the very beginning, we have an empty list. Uh, we're going to uh, add to this empty list here as well as the other one, uh, the first number. So that's one. Now what we'll do is take all these. We're at two now, right? And we're going to add two to all of these as well. So this would be two, and this would be, uh, let's see, one, two. And finally, uh, we reached the third two right here. We can see that we're just going to add two to all of these. So this will just be like two, two, two and two so that would be our answer but remember we have to make this all unique you can see there's already duplicates in here with like two two and one two so how can we avoid uh, hitting duplicates well we can certainly try to use a set but the issue is sets are not hashable right so we can't have a set of a set and on top of that lists aren't hashable either uh, we can't have a set of lists um, so what can we make into a set? Well, we can convert these into a tuple, and that would work, but what that would mean then is the order matters, right? We would have to make sure that um, we don't have any situations where we have like two, one, like this, because this converted to a tuple would be would be considered different, but technically these are, these are the same. So we have to make sure the order is the same. So we can just uh, sort our initial list to make sure that everything is always in order. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll first sort our nums, and what we'll do is have first a um, our answer, and we're going to have an empty list in there at first. So for every number in nums, this is already sorted. We'll take a temp list, and we are going to append to um, let's see to this temp list. We'll say for each list in our answer. Let's append to our temp. Uh, we'll take our number here as a list and we'll add the list, whatever exists inside here, to this temp. And at the end, we're going to extend our answer with everything inside of our temp here. So let's just make sure this looks right. Oops, I might have to cover that out here. Okay, so that looks like it's doing what we want, but remember, while this is kind of if everything was unique this would work but we can see there's already repeats in here right so we'll just cheat and what we'll do is convert these into a tuple uh, let's take every list we'll say four okay for a list in answer we are going to convert it into a tuple and we are gonna make this into a set And then we'll say for everything inside of this set, for L in set of this, we'll, we'll uh, reconvert these into a list. So list of L. And finally, make sure this is a list as well, like this. OK, so let's make sure this works. All right, that looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity is, uh, well, uh, n log n for the sort. And for this, it's at least n n. I believe at the end of the day, it becomes um, an exponential like 2 to the nth power, or something like that. Uh, so it's not very efficient, but it still gets accepted. Luckily, our constraints are small enough. Now, is this the best answer? Probably not. There's probably better ways to do this, more efficient ways. But I always like to just go with the approach that I find understandable. Uh, everything else, 
I found pretty hard to understand using things like product and combinations. So uh, I'm gonna go with this answer. You can certainly look up to see if there's better answers, but that'll be it for today. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.